In this episode, we explore ancient ruins, stumble upon a ghost town, and find a truly epic campsite. Money. Well, we got stuck in another snowstorm. The silver lining is we had the opportunity to dial in even more custom stuff on our cruiser Chinook. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stacy and I are now on the road after just completing a 100 day build of the world's first Land Cruiser Chinook. Our goal is to drive the Pan America Highway over the next 18 months. We are all in on this adventure. And if that's something you want to give us a high five for and get behind this journey, then smash that like button and hit subscribe. So there's a river and a waterfall going over the road. <laughs> This is like decisions that we're gonna have to get good at making as a team because we're not driving across that unless I walk it. And <laughs> he walks it. Maybe if it was like Mexico and it was super sunny and that was like refreshing, but. Yeah, it's like minus five right now and I don't feel like getting that cold. So we got another idea for a camp. So let's go find it. So when we were stuck in Pendleton, Oregon, the nice people at Napa gave us the delivery truck model for Christmas. And we're gonna build it now. It's got the 3.4 V6. Actually, it might be a 4.3 chef. <laughs> oh, what, else, what other features? Oh, yeah. Check out the interior. Ooh. Oh, don't drop nappy. <laughs> Check out the hat. Yeah, it's got a nice hat. The tailgate for loading up your soil. <laughs> and the spare tire. Oh, oh, my gosh. For all your overlanding. It's pretty robust. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the early 70s, the San Carlos Apache tribe built a resort and recreational facility called Cinema Park. This now ghost town is an interesting reminder on how quickly things can go awry, but it's cool to see the architecture is still intact.
Well, everyone, that was supposed to be a nice, graceful way out, and all you saw was bum. <laughs> <laughs> but I found the beer. And this is honestly the best Pilsner I've ever tried, ever. It's called Rain. It's from Pure Project Brewing in San Diego. And yeah, straight up, best Pilsner I've ever had. Drink rain. <coughs> the beautiful Sonoran Desert, where everything is sharp. This is the hottest desert in North America, and it's the only place in the world where the saguaro cacti grow. Interestingly, there are more than 2,000 species of plants living in this desert. We've never experienced deserts like this, so learning about it and experiencing it is a new kind of joy. typically avoid national parks and monuments, mostly because of the crowds, not because they're not beautiful. However, this particular site had a certain allure to it. And if you're interested in history and ancient architecture, you'll definitely understand why. This is the Tonto National Monument. Our sense of adventure and love for dirt roads led us through to Camp Verde and this little back road trail I believe that's called Russell Hill. This muddy and rocky trail offered some obstacles that required careful tire placement. While not super challenging, it was a nice way to spend the morning and stretch the legs on our house. <laughs> 